interesting. You know, this week President Bush committed the United States to building a missile defense system, a giant outer space panty shield. <laughs> That would protect us from incoming missiles while still allowing us to go swimming, running, and horseback riding. <laughs> now, I know this FDI sounds like the lunatic product of a deranged mind, but it was actually Reagan's idea. <laughs> the thing is, back in the Reagan years, it was only a bluff a trick to get the Soviets to cash in their chips. There was never any plan to actually build the thing. I mean, even in Star Wars, Star Wars didn't work. <laughs> Luke Skywalker got right in and blew up the Death Star. But, you know, you can't hate dreamers, and sometimes the unimaginable does come true. We put a man on the moon. We harnessed the atom. We've kept Dick Cheney alive. <laughs> But what kills me, and of course, eventually, the rest of humanity, <laughs> is the very selective way the current administration doles out its faith in technology. A magic force field in the sky that's never come close to working? Sign me up for the can-do club. <laughs> but alternative energy sources? Or a non-polluting car? What are you, gay? <laughs> I, I don't know if you remember, but we used to have a defense shield over the Earth. It was called the ozone layer. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's the Earth shield I'm worried about. I'm much less concerned with things coming out of the sky than I am with things we're putting into it. And into the water, President Arsenic. I mean... <laughs> Where's Erin Brockovich when you need her? The polar ice caps are melting in 10 years. I don't want to see an ad. Surf Idaho. <laughs> Spending gazillions on Star Wars when we continue to pretend that global warming needs more study is such an irrational prioritizing of one threat over another. It's like meeting a total stranger in a bar refusing to drink out of their glass, and then having unprotected sex with them three hours later, God willing. <laughs> now, I know America should have expected nothing else when it elected two oil men to supreme power, but we still deserve a little better than to be made canaries in a Republican mine where you might die, but business is good. You know... You know, George Bush is a lot like the missile shield. He lives in a bubble, and he's failed most of his tests. <laughs> but, Mr. President, I gotta tell you, the planet, it's not a share. I mean, it is a share, sorry. And it guarantees life for no living creature. I know all those dead dinosaurs created the oil that produced the money that put you in charge. But take a hint from the irony gods. We're all, as you might say, extinctionable. The point that he's right is about the fact that people, with, even within the church, have, have approached this issue, I think, in, in a very wrong way, in a way that I agree with you, that I think Jesus would be offended by. And it's not by... We don't need to compromise, but by the way that they're treating it like anything else. You need to treat this issue with the same kind of compassion and love so that you man. would. No, no, no. I'm saying you no. need to treat this issue with the same kind of compassion and love then as you would you anyone else. Well, Let me yeah. finish. Yeah. Anyone else who's not accepting God's best in their life. Now, I do not oh, hate back or that, fear or any homosexuals. As a matter of fact, I love them very much. I have them in my family. And believe it or not, even best have, friends? No, I even have <laughs> friends who died of AIDS. You know, I don't know if it, but, um, but my point is, 
is it's not accepting God's best in your life, yep. and I, that is what the tragedy but is. And you need to bring the point all together. Didn't God, God, God make somebody gay to begin Absolutely with? Absolutely not. No. 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 Let me no, it wait. It takes God years of practice. It takes God. years of practice. <laughs> 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 you know. And well, if God didn't, who did? Well, wait a okay, minute. Well, what about another concept? Because you've been talking so long. What about another concept? I'm sorry. Just a second. Okay. Um, we started to talk about the the ruling with the same sex marriages and why we got into religion. This often gets into a religion, this, this area. I don't know why, and I don't remember the Bible that well. I read it once uh, and enjoyed it immensely, but I don't remember Jesus getting involved in the homosexual issue. So I don't know how oh, either one of you can. Yes, he did. What exactly, where in the Bible does Jesus Your start going off Paul, about. Paul, Paul in Romans. Yeah, Romans? In Romans. He's not in Romans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in Romans it talks about, you know, homosexuality but being Jesus a sin. Jesus doesn't. Bill's point is, Jesus well, keeps Jesus, his nose out of things. Jesus yeah. is God, and the it's Bible like, is the inherent word of God. But you what is Jesus? But, uh, but what is but Jesus? That's, that's, that's all a point in of view. Leviticus, that's your point of view, right? It's not right? a point of view. It's a fact. It's a matter it's of not, fact. It's an interpretation. Somebody, it's wait, wait. Can I say something? Yeah. Yeah. There was that book that was out. It was just in USA Today and stuff like that. From a guy who doesn't even believe in Jesus, what? Yeah, did everybody... a study the on the Bible, and he said that you know, a guy God a must have written this. He did some encoding. You're talking about the Bible code? <laughs> no, I mean, he cracked the code. It's one it's step the... above professional you wrestling. You know, you have the also are relying on translators. Well, you know else? Right. This was not written in, no, in English. Like which is why it is important to do. Bible studies and get Which back to the original what about Latin and Hebrew. And you, you can tell, you can you tell can God wrote it. I know you can. And the you more you study the Bible, the more you understand the, God's best the better it is. And the closer you become Not to God. Since this. you're and so weak on the Constitution, I don't know whether to believe you on the Bible. Okay? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And well, then you know what, Bill? Look it up for yourself. Look Get into the Word of God and look it up for yourself. Why don't you <laughs> quote it to me since you know the Bible so well. What does Jesus say about gays? Where does it say, he said until the homos. No, <laughs> not no. homo. I don't mean that in a bad way. Ex-homos. Ex-homos. But where does it say in the... I, I, I want to, please, please. I have to know, I have to know. You have to tell me about the ex-homosexuals. <laughs> I need to know. Is there a, is there a, 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 a place in I can go DC. and walk amongst them and... Absolutely. and, and oh, Tell them, wait, 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 and tell because them the error of their ways and tell them, get back to doing what you do best. <laughs> what? Because you know what? When, when you experience God's grace in your life, this, and the oh, we've all experienced that, God's grace. That's an insult. That's an insult. Good. No, wait a minute. When you, when you experience that, you want to please God more and more. We're insulted. I, I, I'm sorry. He said he wanted athletes to be visionaries who can reach out to young people and lead them on a path to college and a better life. Isn't that his job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But I can't think of any worse role models for young people than athletes. I think... Politicians. No. I think athletes are even worse. They don't want to take half your money and your freedom. I really do think politicians are worse, but I do, I must say I disdain the whole concept of role models, and especially for athletes, because, I, I mean, I don't like bandying this term around, but I do think there's something a little bit racist about this, because you never hear people saying, you know, rock and rollers ought to be, ought to be better role models. Nobody says, Kurt Cobain, he no, ought to be a role model. No one ever asks Danny Ainge what he's doing for the white people. <laughs> for the white community. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And they're asking. Lammy Bird, how are you helping yeah. your white brothers out? No. But one thing black athletes and white athletes have in common is that they all have a very bad attitude. <laughs> and they don't. And they don't have like in common is they have they exceptional they have ability in one sport. Oh, please. The only right. thing they have in common is they have an exceptional ability mm -hmm. in a certain aspect of life that's freakishly unuseful anywhere else. <laughs> Patrick Ewing, he, he can dunk. That's not going to help you after you play basketball. So why should he be penalized for having this wonderful ability for that and asked to do any more than he that? He shouldn't for that. I'm just saying, well, yes. You know, he's put into, he's put into a, a, a limelight situation where a lot of kids look up to him. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, he's got to kind of watch what he's doing. He can't really swear in public because he doesn't want maybe somebody's kid to be watching him that looks up to him and saying something like that. Yeah, but what do you really know about sports? <laughs> I mean, the thing is that... <laughs> We have to listen to the asthmatic Jewish guy. Now, yeah. <laughs>
MIT, you know. if you go to MIT or, or any of those other schools, what they do with the mathletes <laughs> is, uh, is also... <laughs> they, my, my people... Uh, we, here, if I can say... We take the bowl money that they bring in and invest it very wisely. And, and then, you know, we've been fighting a drug war for about 500 years. Uh, apparently, still not working. Uh, the big story in USA Today is that there is, is a resurgence in heroin. Guess among who? Teenage girls. Isn't that terrible? Teenage girls, suburban teenage girls who hang out at the mall, are using heroin. Not a good thing. Uh, and also bad for the boys. I mean, can you imagine how demoralizing it is as a young boy to pick up the courage to ask a young girl out and have her say, not tonight, I'm washing my syringe. Okay. <laughs> Traditional for the president himself to make some humorous remarks. He won up that this year and he made a video, which show a little bit of this video, because uh, this has been some of this. It's, you know, the idea, <laughs> the idea behind the video was that He's a lame duck, and he's got nothing to do in the White House, so he's just hanging around the White House. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, it was very funny. He got a standing ovation at the White House Correspondent Center. Naturally enough, the hard-ass Republicans are saying, you know, how dare he waste the people's time and money when he should be doing nothing but, of course, apologizing because he likes sex. And they, will never, they will never get over that. And, you know, why can't they just let this guy do what he does best, which is, of course, run the world? Uh, even by Paula Jones' story, he didn't sexually assault her. He dropped even, her pants in front of he her. He dropped his pants. His pants in front of her and said, "Hey, right here you go." <laughs> now, now some might think that's an assault. Boy, what an offer! She didn't huh? call it an assault. How can you turn that down? What's an F? No one is denying that he's a bad. <laughs> What? Approacher. A bad approacher. <laughs> and, and the reason why is because he is so busy working on your case, man. On our case, 24-7. That's why he's, he's working eating on our pizza kids. and talking. Yeah, that's why he was talking on the phone to congressmen when Monica was doing him. Because he's busy. <laughs> <laughs> because, so, do you think that maybe it's... Uh, way people just sample it and they get an idea then they get excited about it, then they go buy the CD so you're not that worried to about an it. extent yeah. yeah and you want the cover you want all the you want the lyrics you want the whole cover. you want the whole package yeah. sure. well you want to buy the white it's album you want to get not exactly like it was with an album when you all roll the a joint. exactly yeah. try to roll a joint on a CD <laughs> <laughs> you can't because the seeds fall through the crack when you put the jewel <laughs> but there's some <laughs> I'm just saying. I and you know that because... That's I, saw the, uh, I saw it on yeah. Dawson's Creek. Me too. <laughs> and I'll say it again. It's childish. Yeah. It is childish. It is arrogant to say to billions of people on the planet who understand that God is real it's and not makes a difference in their lives that you it's know better than they do. And that's the No, they're the ones who say they attitude. know better. I'm no, saying they I don't, don't they know. They yield in no, awe no, to no. the almighty God. No, I'm the one who's saying I don't know. I don't know, and that's okay that I don't know. You're the guys who are saying, I have to know, and the answer is that he did it in six days, say, and he made woman out of about? a rib. That's, what, that's what's childish, is to yeah. say, I don't know these answers, and but I'm going to make up this story, and then I'm going to make all these people believe it, and if they don't, I'll kill them. Millions, people are of, people on the planet millions of people Billions. are stupid. Okay. Yeah. Just the fact that we need helmets proves that the humanity as a species cannot survive. The fact that we chose, <laughs> in pursuit doing activities that were cracking our skulls open to not don't stop the activity figure out a way to stop cracking our skulls and the, and the helmet law is even stupider because this is trying to protect a brain that is working so poorly <laughs> it is leading the body into head cracking activity